If you've ever seen me rant about technology while I feed my pigeons, you'll know I'm a man deeply set in my ways. So when Davidas came and brought this atrocity into my home, I just, I couldn't. I was beside myself. What, what is, what is this? This is a Fender Stratocaster with a Floyd Rose. Oh my, what? The people out there, they deserve to be heard, right? Uh, I think. They deserve to know? Or? They deserve to be heard. I want the people to tell us yay or nay. Oh, that I'm gonna, one. Yeah. I'm, playing, yeah. I'm playing the role of a traditionalist man. He's a traditionalist. As I was born to play. Snob? Uh, uh, purist? I, mm, would you say a purist? I would, I would say a sophisticated gentleman. Elitist? So, <laughs> I've had all these before. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we don't need the people to comment on that. We need them to say yay or nay. And you're a progressive man. Yes. Of, of refinement. Yes. Davidas 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Davidas and Sean 2020. That's what yes! I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. Will you be my vice? <laughs> well, we'll let the people decide who's the vice and who's the top. <laughs> but what I need to hear right now is your arguments for why such a beautiful traditional guitar such as a Fender Stratocaster should have a Floyd Rose and why that's not an unholy abomination. It's not an unholy abomination. Okay. When was the year Fender Stratocaster was introduced? 1950 Fender. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> how, about, how about this? 1954. 1954. <laughs> Got it. When it was introduced, what did people say about it? They say, this is a newfangled thing. It's an, a holy abomination. Yeah, what is this? Have, we, we know acoustics and we know uh, archtop hollow bodies. That's yeah, all we know. That's true. And this is ridiculous. <clears throat> Get and, out of here, Leo. Yeah. In your witchcraft. That was his first name. I see. I know a lot about... Yeah. 19, <laughs> 1950 old. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a, like a new thing. Like the, like the newest thing. It was a major improvement. Right? Mm -hmm. And and, and people, people are never accepting... Accept, accepting. Accepting of new things. Mm -hmm. They're just like, oh no. It's a new innovation. Sure. Now the sky is going to fall on our heads and our crops will fail and the gods will, will curse us. Yeah. Not that this is really a new thing, by the way. No. In fact, like... can we hear it a little bit? Play a little, give the people a little, a little taste. <laughs> Sounds like a strap. <laughs> Another thing worthy to note. Yeah. The pickup configuration. Sure. Single, single, and then together. <laughs> that in and of itself is something a tradition would be like, what is this stupid nonsense? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm a fan of the SSS. Single, single, single. Yeah. Strats. Right. Those are my strats. Okay. Those are, those are my daddy's strats. My daddy's. My granddaddy's strats. And, those are my strats. And, but the grand granddaddy's strats they, didn't exist. They didn't have strats. They didn't no. have strats. Mm -mm. They had a stick and they walked to the school barefoot for five miles yeah, uh, in the winter up the hill. <laughs> that's right. Uh, they did. <laughs> the pigeons. With with the same lineage of pigeons. Yes. So they, I have legacy pigeons. Legacy. <laughs> so See, what, what do you like? What do you like about this then? This configuration. So this is my vintage area. This is this this right here is my vintage area, mm -hmm. and this is my progressive. <laughs> I just like how you're like, this is my vintage area. <laughs> As you just draw a circle around you. Yeah. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> okay, well, you get the idea. I'll show you my vintage area on my Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Just start a private Snapchat. <laughs> so, we are in the in this position. Uh, in the, in the, in position the... five in Backwards World. Position one in Sean World. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Second position. Right, the middle position. Mm. Oof, hot. And that's the vintage sonic area. Mm -hmm. Now what happens, it's perfect for all the vintage stuff. Yep. All the amps that they had in those particular decades. Low gain, transparent, that chime, glassy tone. Now what happens if you 
if you if you want more gain. What do you well, do? Well, there's it's not a humbucker, so the hum is not bucked. Nope. Run wild. Wait. Where'd it go? I like it. I will say, the Player Series humbuckers have come a long way. I had a Mexican strap. My first one had a humbucker in the bridge, okay. and I really just never used the bridge. Hmm. But that's a really cool sounding pick. I, I like how that actually sounds. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. uh, it's like a blend between like okay, we're gonna reduce the hum, and it's like a boost. There's like a volume difference in between. So this is like I do like rhythm or like more uh, more intricate not intricate but just like you know lower yeah. volume and then the drums get louder the bass gets louder mm. the crowd goes nuts i don't need a boost pedal <laughs> and then you scared away my pigeons <laughs> Pigeons aren't coming back. They're gone. They're gone. My family. Legacy <laughs> pigeons. Has left, has left me. You get the best of Fender, Chime, Legacy, and Tone. And then you get the best of uh, the Whammy Bar with Floyd Rose. Hmm. <laughs> I don't hear that chime. I don't hear no Clapton or Eric Johnson. I hear a bunch of noise ringing in my ears. So this has existed for a while. This has existed from the 80s. This is not like a like an innovation that you should concern that your pigeons are gonna like <laughs> fly away now and you're not gonna get to feed them in the park. I have very... Which is by the way, a citation, do not feed the wildlife. <laughs> they're not wildlife, they're my family. <laughs> because of traditionalists, it has been held back and not wildly introduced on fenders. I think so. This is not a fact. I don't know this for a fact, but if I had to guess, it's because of the pigeon feeding traditionalists that there are so few fenders with Floyd Roses. I'm sitting right here. <laughs> and you know what people do? They buy a Stratocaster. Look it up. How to install a Floyd Rose on the Stratocaster. So many search results because everybody's doing it because they know. I, I will say, even as a traditionalist, this I watching your videos, which if you haven't watched this guy's videos, you gotta check them out. It has a it has a different kind of feel to it when you're rocking a Strat with a Floyd Rose, and when you're rocking like you know a Petrucci or a Schecter or something like that. Yes, it has a different kind of feel. It's more more vintage. You have that second second position that like. <laughs> Right? That, mm -hmm. that classic sound, everybody recognizes instantly. Yeah, so it, so it definitely has a di that, di that, that different feel, you know? I don't like it. I just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well. I think you're dumb and I don't like it. <laughs> That's what a traditionalist would say. That does sound like something that traditionalists would say. That's probably at least one or two in the comments. I think you're dumb and I don't like it. Well, mm -hmm. how many dislikes are on this video at the moment? That's how many traditionalists watch this video. <laughs> no, there's, there's a good amount of people who just don't like me. <laughs> and they hate watch me. <laughs> and they race to get to that first dislike. Aye, aye, aye. So there's that group too. It's hard to differentiate them. But, you know. Yeah. What can, what can you do? And there is an improved st tuning stability. So, like, uh, usually on the uh, Fender lineup is already introducing uh, Stratocasters with locking locking tuners mm -hmm. with traditional style bridges. I'm a big fan of that, by the way. Love right. Those. They have uh, they have new style bridges that are uh, look different than the traditional ones, which also improve tuning stability. So as you can see, the, the, the need has existed for more tuning stability. Now, for, for, for people who are familiar with Floyd Rose, and uh, want the best bang for your buck, 
That that's like a saying, right? Yeah, it's a great saying. Yeah, it's a great uh-huh. saying. It's a very traditional saying. This is mm-hmm. a player series Stratocaster, made in Mexico, and the value, the history, the authenticity is there. It is. It truly is. It truly is. Mm-hmm. I've heard you say it. You sound great on it. Thank you. It sounds like a strap, but you add some of the elements yeah. that are more and progressive. Which, can we just say how great it is that progressive is like something from the 80s? <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, so progressive. It's, it's, that's like the guitar industry, though, in a lot of ways. Yeah. You know? It's like things from the 80s can still be considered as new somehow. Yeah. That's why I think it's awesome that Fender is kind of updating their lineup in you know a more modern way. Yeah. Adding things that just make a lot of sense while still keeping some of the legacy and stuff. Yeah. Hey, viewers, keep in mind, everything that you hold dear and cherish as something old, vintage, um, and, and part of history that should not be tampered with, the result of how it came about, it came about through improvement, innovation, and tampering with something old, trying to make it into something new. So the Stratocaster, traditional, purist, oh, the Stra- is this how it's supposed to be? Yes and no, because it was made by an innovator who looked at all the guitars in 1954. He didn't make a guitar from 1854. It was something totally new, and highly radical. Mm, yeah. This is, this is, you see, this is so radical. This is like ridiculous. But everybody who plays a guitar grew up knowing this shape. And now it's like a usual old shape that is recognized. What if it came out today and you've never ever even seen it? People would be in guitar forms like, what is Ugh, this? Hideous. Ugh. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Mm, no. Like when we first started our YouTube channels, people were like, what? Super handsome musicians are on YouTube now. Screw this. This is dumb. Click. Where's Where's Stitch's channel? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's better. Much better. <laughs> Here you go, birds. You're just, yeah. You're just. <laughs> hey. All right. You know what? You've made me rethink some of my choices. As I challenge all of you to rethink all the choices you've ever made in your entire life. Yeah. And then rethink about not going to his channel <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then do it <laughs> and also in the comments let us know if you think yay or nay are you a traditionalist are you a progressive are you somewhere in between what are your thoughts let us know